35 yards away from that edge. Lots of driftwood up there, lots of trash. I'm gonna go around this side. Still five foot here. I'm gonna go around the other side and see what it looks like. Seven foot, or, or four, seven foot here. Lots of crab traps everywhere. Six foot. Let's see how close I can get to the entrance. Looks pretty shallow. Four foot. I've always wondered, I've always seen it on uh, Google Maps, never understood what, what it was for or the purpose of it. Well, it stinks out here. Drop an anchor, drop a line, see what happens. Know, in case you ever wonder what it looked like in there. Super shallow, rocks going right here. You could probably get a kayak in there. I have no idea what you would catch. Uh, I don't know how deep it is or anything. That's uh, pretty interesting. Alright, so today's just been a day where I've been hunting and hunting, trying to land a fish. Uh, went to the north jetties and water was just super choppy out there and it really wasn't windy, which is surprising. Uh, it's blowing nine miles an hour, but it's blowing out of the south. So it's really not protected like if it was blowing out of the north. It has to break up from all the uh, the trees and the land, so it kind of slows it down a little bit and makes it not as bad. <clears throat> Coming from the south, the the jetties out towards the end just got rougher and rougher and rougher, and it was uh, it was very surprising. I I thought it would be a lot a lot more calm. Uh, plenty of boats out there. I didn't get any bites. Moved around to try to hopefully you know shelter from the wind. As I was coming back, coming back in, uh, I, I gave it a last dish effort just to come out here. Uh, seen this place on uh, Google Maps, and a lot of people always ask what it is, how does it look. So I knew it would be protected somewhat from the wind. So I came out here, give it a shot, uh, see a little bit of bait. So this spot could be promising if you could just uh, 
if you were to you know willingly kayak over here it's not that far of a dif distance i've kayaked actually uh to that island before this was here and uh it's just been a rough day uh no fish so i got smoked today unless uh one of the fish are gonna have a little mercy and and bite my hook it, yeah so I'll take it, whatever, what is that, a little croaker? Something just hit, hit the popping cork. <laughs> so that's how the days go. I uh, just wanted to come out here and fish half a day. Uh, a lot of times I've been, I've been trying to go, but uh, I've been busy working and had a lot of clear days, no wind, but we'll get out here start fishing some more get on some more get on some more fish uh, I'm actually gonna pick up a kayak a pedal drive kayak that's yeah, gonna be a lot of fun I'm gonna get in the marsh and uh, show you guys you know we can throw some throw some lures get in the Moses Lake get in the, the Galveston Marsh Freeport Marsh uh, Christmas Bay so I got a lot more videos uh, or content that I'm gonna I'll, to make you know so hopefully it just be able to put some fish on the on the video if not it'd be, it'd be just uh it'd be jesse's adventures and not and not saltwater soldier but give it another cast or two see what happens hopefully land at least one trout that i can put on camera and throw it back but I'm gonna cast. I'll let you guys know if I catch anything. I'm about to head back into to the dock. I got these clouds kind of forming. My wife called me and told me that it already started raining up towards uh, North Houston. So, gotta keep an eye out for that. So, all right.